back to my channel. My name is Felicia for those of you that are stopping in for the very first time. Welcome and I'm so delighted that you decided to stop in today. And please leave a comment below and introduce yourself so I can leave you a formal greeting just for stopping in today. Well guys, I am going to continue my summer decorating series in my kitchen. And so today I am going to be decorating a two tier stand. So as you can see in this background, these are all the items that I'm going to be using to decorate my tier tray today, or you can say tier stand. Now, I just want to remind you all, just for those that are tuning into my channel for the very first time, this is my inspiration piece for my kitchen decor for summer 2021. I love this pop of yellow here. I love this soft uh, pale blue. I love this vibrant green and the browns. So this is my inspiration for my kitchen. So I'm just gonna run through the items quickly. As you can see, this is the sign that I am gonna be using on my tear tray. Think happy, be happy. I thought that was whimsical and adorable. I'm also gonna be using my creamers here or my little miniature creamer pitchers. I love using those. I have two of those. And of course, this is lemon inspired. So I have my lemons here. Now I actually purchased these lemons last year from my Target store and they were on a super clearance. And so because I purchased them last year, this will be my first time using them. And of course, I have my lemons right here. Uh-oh, lost one um, that I purchased from the Dollar Tree last year. So you just add on to your collection as you go along. I'm also going to be using these beautiful bees. This was a recent, recent purchase from my New River Pottery Store. And I think these were only $2.39 per stem. And they're from the Regency Collection. I'm also going to be using this beautiful little mushroom here. And I purchased this maybe a couple of years ago from the Dollar Tree. Just look how vibrant this mushroom looks. Absolutely beautiful. And I also might be using my little chicks right here. I used this in my tear tray for Easter. You didn't get to see that tear tray because I didn't have it ready in time for my um, home tour, but I might use these. And these are just the chicks that remind me of my childhood. Um, my grandparents, they used to raise chickens and they had these little chicks in this container. And I went to the barn that day and saw those chicks and thought they were just adorable. And also, I have this little bird cage here that gives me the pop of blue. I also have this sign here, and this is one of my favorite sayings, let's stay home. And of course, it's, it's in the shape of a house. I have that sign. And of course, I have some greenery here. And when I decorate with my lemons, I like to use daisies. And so I have my daisies here. Aren't they just adorable? And this was a recent purchase from my local Michael store. And this is from the Ashland collection. And these were $2.99. They had a coupon for 20% off. So I used that coupon. And this is the greenery that I am gonna be using. Um, this is one of my favorite type of greenery that I like to use from Hobby Lobby. I have some more daisies here. I have this adorable cabbage that came from my New River Pottery. And then I have another assortment of some daisies and some other miscellaneous flowers in there. And I also have some leftover um, pieces of from other projects that I've done. Just some white floral blossoms here that I have. And I also found this little, in my stash, I found this little um, greenery ball here, and I may use that as a filler. And like I've mentioned before, that when you're doing your tiered tray, 
one of my tips is make sure that you have a variety of items to choose for from and I had this little yellow bench here in my stash I actually have one of these on my hot cocoa bar coffee station so I just pull that out and I also have this little butterfly that was in my stash I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not but I pulled it out because of the color and this butterfly actually came from the Dollar Tree and um it was in my stash and this butterfly looks so realistic I love it so without further ado let's get started Okay, now this is the tear tray that I am going to be using to decorate with the day. And this is a, as you can see, this is a two-tiered tray. And before we start actually decorating this tray, I'm going to do a simple DIY. And then we're going to get started decorating this tear tray. And I am going to use both of these miniature pictures here and I'm going to show you how to do a simple DIY that you can use on your tiered tray stand. Okay you guys the first DIY this is the little miniature picture that I'm going to be using and I'm going to show you how to decorate it so you can add it to your tiered tray and I encourage you to go back and watch my video entitled five tips Charming Spring Tear Tray 2021 French Country Inspired. And that gives you five of my tips in how to decorate a tear tray. And I show you all types of tear trays that I have and own and how to decorate them. So I'm going to go ahead and take my greenery pieces here. And I think what I'm going to do, and this actually came from a larger piece and I just clipped it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these pieces and I'm just gonna place them in here like so. And you have to kind of play with them to get it like you want it. So I'm just gonna turn this around so I can kind of feel it a little bit better. And you just manipulate your little pieces here and you stick them in there. And we could stop just like that and be done because I think there's nothing more beautiful than greenery coming out of a picture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my little white daisies here. I've already clipped them off the branch and I'm just gonna insert this into this arrangement and pop. I've got that pop of color. I've got my white, I've got my yellow here, and voila, we are finished with this picture. Now, I'm doing two of these, so I went ahead and made the other one. I'm just going to show you that picture as well, and this is the second one that I made here. Isn't that adorable? And I just added my bees to this one because this picture here is going to be on the lower bottom tray of the tier tier tray and i just popped in the bees isn't that absolutely adorable so that is my first diy leave some comments below and tell me what you think okay you guys so my next diy is this little simple jar that I salvaged and actually what was in it was some sweet relish I think and doesn't this jar just makes a beautiful item that you can add to your tear tray because you need a lot of small items so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do a DIY on that so I'm going to use my little white flower petals I'm going to go ahead and take those out and when you're, mess when you're utilizing your greenery and you have all those extra pieces left, don't throw them away because you never know what kind of project that you can use them for later. 
So as you can see, I've got a lot of these little white miniature petals and I'm just going to place them within my jar right here. So let me scoot you down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. And I'm just going to toss them in here so I don't just have this little plain little jar. And I'm just going to stuff some white petals in here just like so and I might pop in some daisies now these daisies did not come from my Michael store they actually came from family dollar and I wasn't all that impressed with them because they did look artificial they weren't a good representation of a daisy so I'm just going to use those in this little jar and so you just stuff the jar just like that, no rhyme or reason. And that's gonna be my base for my jar. And I hope that you can see that. And that's what it looks like. You see how it just takes it from a simple basic jar and it actually gives it more visual interest. So I'm just going to, and I have a little yellow one here, I'm gonna pop that in there. And so I'm gonna take my little bees and I'm just going to insert them inside this jar because I'm going to use this particular jar on the top shelf of my tear tray and voila that's a simple DIY so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to decorating the tear tray so let's get started so now I have placed my tear tray stand on the counter of where I'm going to install it once it's fully decorated. So I am going to do this video a little bit differently than what I usually do when I decorate my tear tray stand. And I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating this tray. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to set it to music. And I'm going to start with this item first. And then after it's fully decorated, I may come back and discuss what I did to the tear tray. So grab your favorite drink and let's get started decorating.
so now guys I have basically completed my tear tray but now I'm going to go ahead and add some more details to the tray and I'm just going to take a look at my tray and just check it for empty spaces like right in here there's an empty space in here there's an empty space in here um I think I pretty much got the back part filled in here, but maybe there's a little space right in here. So I'm just going to go into these little empty holes in here and just take some greenery or some florals to fill that in to give it a full and rich look. See, like there's a, a hole right in there. Um, I don't know whether you can see all of that. But there's a gap right there, even though you can see the lemon there. But I want to fill that in. And a good way to do that is just to use your greenery and your floral pieces, just like this. And I can use these. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that quickly. And I'll be right back with you. So right here, I like the greenery that's here in front of the sign. I do have to be careful because I don't want to obstruct the view of what the sign is saying and um, the little bee. So I'm just going to add some simple white petals in there if I can. I have a few of these right here left over. And so I'm just going to add a little blossom right in there because I don't want to obstruct the view. And my saying is, love is in the details. So I'm just gonna add that little soft white blossom there, and I'm gonna continue this process. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and added in those little pieces of greenery to those sections that I pointed out to you earlier that had little openings here and i added in some more florals into here and i also added just went around and just filled in all those little holes and so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give you a final review i want to thank you all for tuning into my channel today and please if this is your very first time visiting please subscribe to my channel like share and leave a comment so I can leave you a formal greeting for visiting in today. So until the next video, happy decorating. Bye-bye. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down. And it's not a lie that I die. I can hide Thank you.